Hey Booktube, how's it going today? Um, today we are going to be on our next step of the um, Conan Chronology series. And today we're going to be talking about probably one of the best Conan stories there is. The Tower of the Elephant. Now, um, this is a very early Conan story from Robert E. Howard. Um, but it sets up something that a lot of fantasy stories and books will follow. And it also sets up a method for even how like D&D is played. Um, this story is a total dungeon crawl. If you've ever played D&D, you'll read this story and go, I've done that, I've done that, I've done that. It's like, um, it's amazing. Um, but I think we're in Zamora. Now. Oh, real quick, before I get into spoiling, because um, I was schooled on the spoiler tag, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch my spoiler tag video. Um, I got bombed and um, made to look a fool. So um, take a look at that. But so before we start, um, if you want to follow Conan's journey um, through this video series um, on my website weirdmask.com I'm going to be putting whatever story we're doing I will be posting that on Wednesday um, so you could read it before the video that comes out on Saturday um, so Tower of the Elephant um, the whole thing is up right now so pause the video, go read it, and come back and we'll chat about it, okay? So, Conan, um, a young, um, mouthy Conan is in Zamora right now. And, um, he's just, like, trying to find his way, okay? And he walks into this bar and all these dudes are talking schmack and um, bragging and there's this one fat jerk who's bragging more than anybody and um, Conan hears him talk about the Tower of the Elephant and really cool Conan's like oh hey bro um, do you mind telling me you know a little bit about what this Tower of the Elephant is and um the guy kind of like blows him off as like a dumb kid and um you don't do that not to a barbarian and as the conversation escalates um conan is like finally had enough and this big jerk ass has finally had enough and um they go to fight, and the can tables get knocked over, candles get um, put out, and when they turn the lights back on, basically, the big dude's dead, and Conan's nowhere to be found. But what Conan found out was, was that the Tower of the Elephant is this um, big tower um, in town that's... Um, supposedly has this jewel that is like the most expensive jewel out there called the heart of the elephant and um, the tower belongs to this sorcerer named Yara who's very scary and um, there's not really anyone guarding this tower but what is guarding this tower are fates unknown. So it's like really scary. And Conan's like, whatevs. I want it. I'll go get it. So he goes to break into this tower. 
and he climbs the wall and he sees guards and he's like, oh shit, there are guards. Um, and he sees this guard go by and the guard doesn't come back and he's like, what the what? And so he goes around and the guard's like dead on the ground. And um, while he's checking this body out, he senses someone coming up next to him. And the person coming up next to him is this dude named uh, Taurus, the thief. And he's like this big, kind of chunky dude. Um, and they start chatting. And they're like, oh, we're both like here to steal the jewel at the same time. That's weird. Let's hang out. We'll be buds. And um, this Taurus guy is seriously one of the most entertaining side characters that Robert E. Howard ever created. And I wish there were like more stories of him because he's just badass. And so they're like, okay, well, let's climb this tower so we can get to the top. And um, Conan's like, okay, and he takes his sandals off, and he's like, how are you going to get up there? And he's like, I'm just going to climb because I'm badass, and I'm a barbarian, and I'm from Samaria, and this is how we roll. And he's like, no, 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 see, I have this rope that's made out of dead chick's hair, and soaked in some tree sap and all this other stuff it's super strong and Conan's like whatevs and then they're about to climb up and guess what happens a lion jumps out and attacks him and Conan kills the lion and Taurus is like dude you're badass and Conan's like duh and they climb um, up this thing and on top of the tower there's like jewels encrusted all over and Conan's like dude let's just take these jewels and split and um, Taurus is like no dude I came for the jewel to make every other jewel look like a stupid jewel and Conan's like wow that's like a really good point let's go get the jewel um, so now they're on top and they go in and Taurus goes first, and then Taurus screams and comes out, and there's, like, wounds on his neck and shit, and Conan's like, what? And so, um, Taurus is dead, which totally sucks, because this dude was awesome as fuck. Um, Conan goes in there, and he starts looking around, and he doesn't see anything, and he's like, what's happening? I don't understand what got him. And then from the ceiling, a giant spider drops. Now, when I say a giant spider, it's not like the size of a house. It's the size of a pig, which is still a really big spider. And I honestly think a pig-sized spider is kind of scarier than a house-sized spider. Um, so Conan's like trying to get this spider off of him. It keeps spitting webs at him. Um poison venom drops out of the spider's mouth and starts to burn Conan's skin he's freaking out no he doesn't know what's he get what he's gonna do he can't um get his sword to cut the webs off of him quick enough to be able to kill the spider at the same time um so the spider jumps at him and he grabs this like giant chest and like hurls it at the spider and smashes the spider with it hysterical um so then he's like cruising around and he like walks into this other chamber and he sees this like terrifying statue of some creature unseen and um when he like is just walking around the room gets a little closer the statue's eyes open and he's like oh shit that's not a statue and he's like i've never seen anything like this before because it's a statue of a little elephant dude and Conan has never seen an elephant before. He's like, this thing's got big floppy ears and a tail for a nose. Like, what the hell's going on here? The elephant thing is like, Yar, are you here to torture me again? And all this other stuff. And Conan's like, I'm not Yar. I'm just here to steal shit. Like, you can go on about your business. And um, then they start talking and we find out about this elephant named Yog Kothoth. Um, I think is its name. And um, this Yog Kothoth elephant dude um, is from another planet. Um, 
he built this tower for Yara because Yara enslaved him and now Yara has been torturing him for tons of time and Yogg Kothoth has been older he's older than Earth he's just this super old thing and um, he's like hey do me a favor real quick and Conan's like eh sure and he's like um can you like rip my heart out and stuff <laughs> and then like take it to Yara and um say something to him and Conan's like cool like I could do that so um he does this and then goes into Yara's chamber and Yara's like Who's that? What are you doing? And um, Conan puts the heart down um, and says the magic words or whatever. And then um, Yara shrinks down and ends up inside the heart. And then the whole building starts to fall down and Conan's got to split. Um, so anyway, and then he like leaves and didn't really get everything that he thought he was going to get. And he's like kind of like, eh. But it's just, it's such a good story. Um, it shows so much of Conan's nature in it and um, how he is is like a young, strapping buck. Um, it, it just has so much in it, and it's so much fun. The characters in it are great. Um, the action in it is super suspenseful and intense. Um, this is one of those stories that makes you like fall in love with the character and go, wow, I got to find out everything this character's done. Um, yeah, it, it, it's like, um, it was one of my first favorite stories. And it's funny too, because like, I'm like Tower of the Elephant, like Motorhome of the Platypus, like that's a shit title. And, um, I don't know. I was just like, this is going to be dumb. And it was great. And I have gone back to read it so many times. It's classic. Um, it's just amazing. So I hope you enjoyed it as well. And um, the... Uh, I don't, I'm not going to say what the next video is, but next Wednesday, um, the story will appear on weirdmass.com and um, you can follow along and we'll have another video on Saturday and tomorrow uh, a little preview for the Cthulhu Mythos series um, we are going to be talking about the festival which is also on weirdmass.com right now and you can read that and so that will be what goes on on Sunday so um Crom be with you and take care.